In this video, we are going to look at what a rational function is and how do you evaluate one. However, before we can look at evaluation, we need to know what a rational function is. So, let's look at the definition of what a rational function is. The definition of a rational function is f of x equals p of x over q of x. And at first glance, this might look really complicated. However, it is just a simple fraction, but where p of x and q of x are both polynomials, which means they can include variables and exponents. Just like fractions, however, the key thing is that the denominator, q of x, cannot be 0. Can't divide by 0 in a fraction, we can't divide by 0 in a rational function. Down here, you'll see three examples of what rational functions are. And if you look at the first one, f of x here, it's just 3 over 5. And that's a, a very simple fraction that you've probably seen all the way back to elementary school. However, 3 and 5 are polynomials. They just have a degree of 0. So you can have simple fractions be rational functions. g of x and h of x get a little more complicated. g of x has 4x plus 2 on the top and 3x squared down the bottom. And h of x are both polynomials again, but they have pluses and minuses on the top and the bottom. So we have to do a little bit more calculations. Not any more complicated in terms of a rational function, but when we have to do our evaluation and simplification and stuff like that, it might be a little more complicated. Let's look at evaluating rational functions. So we got to have to come up with a function. So here's my function I'm going to evaluate. We have f of x equals x minus 5 over x squared minus 4. And when you're evaluating, we need to plug in some numbers. So the first thing we're going to look at is f of 6. Now remember, whatever number is inside the parentheses here, I'm replacing x with. So when I replace it, I always put parentheses around the number that I'm replacing. So in this case, I put parentheses 6 minus 5, parentheses 6 squared minus 4. I always put parentheses around it because when you look at, especially dealing with negatives, which you'll see in the next evaluation problem, the parentheses help solve a lot of the sign errors and sign mistakes that could be made, especially with exponents. So now that we have our plug-in or evaluation, we can actually solve it out. Get rid of our parentheses, so I have 6 minus 5 over 6 squared, which is 36, minus 4. And then I do the subtraction. I end up with 1 minus or 1 divided by 32. So in the end, just a simple fraction. Now let's look at that one with the negative 3. This way we can actually see how the parentheses help us when we're evaluating. When we plug this one in, the top is nothing major difference because there's no exponent, so it's just negative 3 minus 5. However, the bottom, if you didn't put the parentheses around this, the actual order of operation says do 3 squared first and not negative 3 squared. And that could give you a sign error, especially if you type it in your calculator like that. So I always put parentheses around it to remind yourself that you're, not, you're doing negative 3 squared, not 3 squared times a negative sign. When we get rid of our parentheses, we end up with negative 3 minus 5. And on the bottom, there's that 9 minus 4. Then we subtract, so negative 3 minus 5 is negative 8. 9 minus 4 is 5, and you get another simple fraction at the end. That's the end of our lesson on evaluating rational functions and what is a rational function.